May 30, 1914, the British Ocean Liner RMS Aquitania made her maiden voyage. Larger than the Titanic, this giant was known as Ship Beautiful for self-descriptive reasons. Serving in both world wars, she was the last of the great four funnel, as smokestacks were called, liners, and was the longest serving liner in history until surpassed by the Queen Elizabeth II. Obviously famous in her day, the Aquitania is not well remembered, unlike the other ten ships we list here, whose fame has stood the test of time. Apologies to the HMS Victory, the USS Arizona, the USS Missouri, the USS Maine, K-19, the USS Nautilus, and all those other great ships. Perhaps they will appear on another list. Number 10. Nuestra Señora de Atocha A Spanish treasure ship that sank in 1622 in a hurricane off the Florida Keys, the Atocha was heavily laden with treasures from the New World and was headed back to Spain when she sank. The Spanish managed to send salvage crews to her wreck and spent years looking for the treasure, recovering perhaps half. In 1985, an American treasure hunter found the wreck and faced legal battles with the state of Florida over ownership of the remaining treasure, with the courts eventually ruling against the state. Just one emerald ring that has been recovered has an estimated value of $500,000. With the modern recovery of treasures from the Atocha worth several hundred million dollars, the original treasure the ship carried may have been worth well over a billion dollars in today's money. Number 9. HMS Beagle Charles Darwin, famous for his theory of evolution, sailed on the Beagle in 1831 on her historic voyage of scientific discovery and later published what he called Journals and Remarks, more commonly known as The Voyage of the Beagle. This five-year-long voyage made Darwin and the Beagle famous, and to this day, conservative fundamentalist Christians still debate the merits of Darwin's theories regarding the evolution of species of plants and animals. Number 8. Bismarck Although 90 feet shorter than the largest U.S. battleships of the Iowa class, the Bismarck was 10 feet wider and had more steel armor, displacing 5,000 more tons. When she was commissioned just after the start of World War II, the British people were terrified of the prospect of her cutting off sea lanes of transport. The most hunted and targeted ship in history, it took over 400 hits from British guns and perhaps 12 torpedoes to incapacitate her to the point where her crew scuttled her. In 1960, a major motion picture called Sink the Bismarck was made, and a hit song by Johnny Horton, Sink the Bismarck, was also released, with the name of the ship misspelled. Number 7. HMS Dreadnought The 1906 introduction of the HMS Dreadnought heralded a new age in warships. Capable of 21 knots and armed with 12-inch guns, the Dreadnought was the first of what are called all big gun battleships, and she made all the battleships before her obsolete. Today her name has become synonymous with the term battleship. The Dreadnought is also notable as the first capital ship powered by a steam turbine engine instead of a reciprocating steam engine. Number 6. USS Monitor not the first ironclad armored warship, but with her steam engine and revolving turret, the Monitor was definitely a game changer. Her 1862 battle with the CSS Virginia, the former USS Merrimack, at Hampton Roads is regarded as a milestone in naval warfare, the first battle of ironclad warships. Number 5. Potemkin a classic example of the last of the pre-dreadnought battleships, the Potemkin is famous for the 1905 mutiny of her crew against its officers. 
the pride of the Tsarist Russian Imperial Fleet. This brand new ship of the time is heralded by Russians as the scene of the beginning of the Russian Revolutionary Era that would eventually overthrow Tsar Nicholas II in 1917. The 1925 film, The Battleship Potemkin, is considered to be one of the greatest movies of all time. Just to clarify, the 1905 revolution was the first of the revolutions against the Tsar. The Tsar would, of course, not be overthrown until the one that began in 1917. Number four, Old Ironsides, USS Constitution. An American frigate, a medium-sized warship built in 1797 when a ship's normal lifespan was approximately 10 years, the Constitution is, along with the British HMS Victory, one of the longest-serving warships in history. Her most recent cruise was in 2012 at age 215. She is commonly referred to as Old Ironsides after the Oliver Wendell Holmes poem by that name commemorated the cannonballs that bounced off her stout sides in 1812. She fought in numerous campaigns from the Barbary Coast through the War of 1812, during which she won her greatest victories. Number 3. HMS Bounty the subject of the most famous mutiny in history, 1789, and the star of three major motion pictures, among others, the Bounty comes to mind as the quintessential sailing ship. Until she sank in a hurricane in 2012, the Bounty replica made for the 1962 MGM movie was a major Florida tourist attraction and served as an educational aid and charter ship. And yes, the author did go aboard and tour the MGM Bounty. Under the command of the tyrannical Captain Bly, the bounty had been seized by mutineers and was then destroyed by them in order to conceal their location. Number 2. Santa Maria, Pinta, and Santa Clara These are the three ships used by Christopher Columbus during his first voyage to the New World in 1492. The largest of the three, the Santa Maria, was a mere 62 feet long at the hull and only 18 feet wide. The Santa Clara is better known by her nickname, Nina. With school-aged children everywhere being taught these three names, these ships have had a good head start on the others in the fame department. Number 1. RMS Titanic at the time of her 1912 sinking, she was the largest ship on the seas. Considered by many to be unsinkable, the Titanic was tragically, in fact, sinkable indeed, going down only about two hours and 40 minutes after sideswiping an iceberg. Over 1,500 people died, many of them rich and famous, and ever since that fateful night, the books, movies, and documentaries have not stopped coming. The public demand for Titanic culture remains insatiable. Bigger ships would be built. More people would die in maritime disasters. However, none have come close to the Titanic's fame. As a question for my students and subscribers, what other ships do you think belong here? Real ships only, please. Fictional ones can be another list. Please let us know in the comments section below this video. If you like this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines and become one of our patrons. Your viewership is much appreciated.